hello dear student so this is our first topic for isc class 11 data representation in data representation we are going to discuss about different types of number system that is called digital that is called digital number system okay so in digital number system we have basically four different types of number system that we follow the first one is called decimal number system okay that we use in our day to day life then we have binary number system then we have octal number system and lastly we have hexadecimal number system okay so the number system which we use commonly in our day to day life is decimal number system that means deca means 10 so based on this we have basically 10 unique numbers ranging from 0 to 9 0 to 9 in all 10 so that is why it is called decimal number system and we can form any other number with the combination of these unique number 0 to 9 in all there are 10 okay then in binary number system as the name suggests binary means 2 so basically there are two numbers that is 0 and 1 that we normally uh, see in computer number system like computer follow machine language that is the language of 0 and 1 okay so we will discuss in detail about each and every one but let's discuss the other number system that is octal octal means 8 and the name suggests octal stand for 8 that means ranging from 0 to 7 0 to 7 in all there are 8 numbers so and any combination of 0 to 7 makes an octal number all right now hexadecimal number system add as its name says hexa stand for 6 deca stand for 10 so in all there are 16 16 that is 0 to 15 but we do not write it is uh, as 0 to 9 and then 11 10 11 12 13 we normally write like 0 to 9 and then 10 is written as a then so on b c d e and f so f is 15 okay so normally hexadecimal number system we write 0 to 9 and then 10 is written as a then 11 12 13 14 and 15 is f all right so basically we have four different types of number system decimal number system okay then binary number system then octal number system and then hexadecimal number system so we will be looking at these number system again in detail okay so for that we will normally start first with the decimal number system and we will try to understand normally in our day-to-day -day life we use decimal number system only to do the counting for your marks totaling and the for the you know uh, currency or etc so let's take an example of there's a number called let's say uh, called as 729 as 729 imagine as you know you must have seen in the previous classes even in the junior classes also basically this is called any number is again based on positional positional value system positional value system okay now why it is called positional value system because it matters 
that in which position which number is been you know, or which digit has been placed like this is called unit you know in the junior school or junior class you must have studied sorry this i have to correct this is called unit unit this is called tens and this is called hundred hundred okay so basically this 729 we can write in this form also 7 multiplied by 100 okay 2 multiplied by 10 and then 9 multiplied by 1 because this is 100 7 is at 100th position 2 is in 10th position and 9 is in unit position so if you will simplify it comes to 700 and then this comes to 20 and this comes to 9 then total again is 729 so that is the most important thing is that every number is written in a positional value system form okay imagine uh, in this case we can say this 9 is called the least significant digit lsd in short we write down because it has the least significance in the in this number whereas the 7 is called msd that is called most significant digit because its significance is the highest or the position is the highest in this particular number if we go with the position the position is the highest that is why it is called most significant Digit. Now let's take an example of any number with a fractional part also. Okay, so here we are taking one more example. Let's say let's say there's a number called twenty five twenty five point one two twenty five point one two okay here again if we'll go with the position value system its position is at zero its position is at one this is at minus one and this is minus two if we are going to the right hand side of the decimal uh, number it comes the position is taken as minus one minus two and so on okay so or you can say this is unit and this is tens and this is one tenth okay and this is called one hundredth push okay so if we simply write we can write like two multiplied by ten plus five multiplied by one as unit and one multiplied by one upon tenth plus 1 multiplied by 1 upon 100 okay if you simplify it you will get again a result as 25.12 okay so now we have understood like every number is again based on positional value system every number is again uh, taken as positional value system now again with the one more example i'll try to explain okay so let's take this example we have a number we have a number called 25 oh, sorry 2512.1971 so i have a number called 2512.1971 so again if i write so i can write like you know Position is like 0, 1, 2, 3, then minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, and then minus 4. Okay, so I can write like this 2 multiplied by 10 raised to the power 3 plus 5 multiplied by 10 raised to the power 2 plus 1 multiplied by 10 raised to the power 1 plus. 2 multiplied by z 2 multiplied by sorry 10 raised to power 0 
पोजिशन इज टेकन एज अ पावर ऑफ टेन ओके प्लस वन मल्टीप्लाइड बाई दिस वन मल्टीप्लाइड बाई टेन रेज टू पावर माइनस वन प्लस नाइन मल्टीप्लाइड बाई टेन रेज टू पावर माइनस टू प्लस सेवन मल्टीप्लाइड बाई टेन रेज टू पावर माइनस थ्री प्लस वन मल्टीप्लाइड बाई टेन रेज टू पावर माइनस फोर ओके देन इफ वी विल यू नो कंप्यूट दिस विल गेट एग्जैक्टली द सेम नंबर ओके नाउ आई एम मेकिंग ऑन डायग्राम विद द डायग्राम आई विल ट्राई टू एक्सप्लेन यू ओके let's take an example okay so here is the decimal point and then we have 2512 okay and then after this is 197 and 1 okay so this is our decimal point this is our decimal point okay and when we are moving from right to left the position is changing so it is 10 to the power 0 10 to the power 1 10 to the power 2 and 10 to the power 3 and when we are moving from a decimal point to our right it will be like it will be like 10 to the power 10 to the power minus 1 10 to the power minus 2 10 to the power minus 3 and then 10 to the power minus 4 okay so in this case again we can say this digit has the most significant so that is called most significant digit as msd and this particular digit has the least significance in this number so that is called least significant digit as lsd so like we were working with the decimal number right now here the same applies for binary number also so same apply for binary number also again binary number is also a positional number system it also follows the same rule okay but only thing is there we will have a combination of 0 and 1 in all there are two okay here in the decimal number we have a combination of any digit between 0 to 9 in all they are called 10 so that is why it is called decimal number system Where it is called binary number system. So in the next video we will be discussing about binary number system in detail and how we will convert decimal to binary and binary to decimal and so on. So thank you very much and this was the video based on data representation using number system.